Hello everyone. Today is day one. So what are we doing in math class on the first day of school? Looking at this, you may have questions. The brunette girl in the middle there with the scissors on her hair, that is something we're not going to be doing. We will not be cutting hair in class. Not today, not any day, but uh, that doesn't really matter. Whoa, did I miss something? Okay, first we're going to talk about classroom rules. This is something we'll go over uh, together a little bit more later on. Uh, but our classroom rules are pretty simple, pretty basic kind of things, but might be written in a way that are a little bit different for you. So looking at that, when you see the headphones on rule number one, you should be thinking, listen, all right? And then all those other people there, that sort of means each other. So listen to each other. That's really important when you're having conversation, when you're learning, and when you're going to school. It's always important to listen to each other, and then people will listen back. So that's real simple stuff. Number two has some fruits and veggies kind of thing there. That just means to make healthy choices. We'll go over these in detail in class a little bit later on. Uh, number three, the hands there. To me, that means keep your hands to yourself. Uh, the band-aid head means, or you could possibly get hurt, which of course we don't want, or even sick. Because uh, if you're sick and you touch someone else, they could get sick too. Everybody knows that. Uh, so just keep your hands to yourself will be a rule that we need to adhere to here in class. Number four. I see sunshine, and I see rain, and I see what looks like a seedling, and then a clover, and a bigger branch, and a whole tree. I think we can figure out that that means to grow. That's our goal for everybody in this class. I hope it's your goal as well. And number five is the one we've been learning since we were first born. Respect. Respect each other. Respect yourself. So... Biggest question I always get from parents, and I hope they're out there watching right now, what about homework? My son or my daughter are telling me she doesn't have homework. He doesn't have homework. Well, what my plan is right now, and I'll communicate with you guys as much as I can later on, but what my plan is right now is to have them watch an interactive video at home. So they'll be watching a 15 minute video, maybe taking some notes, writing down some questions. I think I have that explained on the next slide. So our job is to take Cornell notes. I've kind of made them my own here, as you can see. Um, and the students will be expected to watch the interactive tutorial in iReady. And we'll go over what iReady is quite a bit very soon with my students when I see them. Uh, every day, we'll, we'll get prepared to do that when they get their computers. And what I want them to do is write questions they have about the material, or what I'm calling confident statements. And that would just mean that I totally get this just from this tutor tutorial. I get it. I, I know I can do this. I can teach it to someone else. This is something that means class was going to be really easy for me tomorrow. So that could be really cool. Or, wow, I got how to set up the proportion, but I really don't know what to do for the first step. Or something. I just couldn't quite get what cross multiply is. Or whatever it may be. So ask questions or confidence statements, and we'll be golden. So this little sheet of paper I'm going to pass out today in class, and everybody's going to get to do one. On the left side, you're going to get to kind of write where your place is, where is your, what a lot of people call happy place, but the, the one place that you feel the most comfortable, something that represents that, and I'll show you an example of something I did um, in a second. Uh, just some place that you want to be. Uh, it could be your bedroom, it could be your backyard, it could be the mountains, it could be the beach, it could be whatever really, really is your place. And then the other side of the paper, and they'll get uh, kind of mixed together, hopefully, if you guys make really creative ones. But the this is me side, that is where I want you to do all sorts of representations of the things that you love. And if you love football, draw a football field or a football or people playing. If you love golf or piano or 
guitar or YouTube or video games or running or whatever it may be. Represent those things that just make up who you are. Okay, so I'm going to show you an example of what kind of explains who I am. And this is my place. If somebody says, Mr. George, go to your happy place. Boom. I'm going to this little place that my wife and I found in Costa Rica. And I'm going to sit there and look out over the Pacific Ocean again and just relax and look at that beautiful jungle. That is a spectacular place that I totally, totally love. And when someone says, close your eyes and go to your happy place, there I am sitting there again. Um, on the this is me side, there's obviously more to me than just what you see here. But food and cooking is a huge part of my life. I really like to cook for my kids and my wife and myself, of course. Uh, a couple of activities that I love to do would be jumping in the ocean, playing some baseball. I was a pretty good baseball player through high school and, and had a lot, a lot of fun and a lot of fond memories of doing that. Filmmaking, you can probably tell I'm doing one right now, and I really like creating films and and uh, using them to help me teach and just have a, a hobby that's awesome. Rhyming and music, of course, everybody I think likes music. I've done some writing myself. I like making beats. You can hear one that I made in the background right now, probably. Uh, this would be the second one you've heard, actually. I made the other one as well. Math, of course, is a big part of my life. It's my career. That's the calculator represents that. Uh, trees, I'm a big believer in them. We need them. Leave them standing, please. And uh, traveling. My wife and I have done a ton of traveling. We've been to Greece. We've been to Jamaica. We've been to France. We've been to Italy. That was her favorite, I think, was Italy. Canada, the, the Caribbean, uh, lots and lots and lots of places. And it's really neat to move around and see this incredible world that we live in. So, there's that. So, okay, it's time for a classroom discussion. So, I have to end the video now. Thank you to all students and parents that watched. When we are done with our chat, students will be, will be creating their My Place Me posters, as I just described, and we'll be spending the rest of our hour getting to know each other. Thank you all for watching. really appreciate it.